Greetings Pisces, welcome to 2018 and welcome to your first reading of the year, that of January. Wherever you have experienced New Year around the world, I hope it was a happy celebration and a contemplative one of looking forward to what you are going to achieve and manifest in the year ahead. We are using these John Holland Psychic Tarot cards, one for each week of the month, and then a Rider Waite card on the top to clarify and extend the messages. So Pisces, let's see what's in store for you guys for January 2018. The first card up is the Crown Chakra card, and I had just moved the Amethyst into place as the, before I started the reading thinking that that was going to be an appropriate energy. We have next another major arcana, number four, which is authority, which is the emperor card. We have another major arcana, number 20, which is truth, which is the judgment card. And we have number two of swords. So Piscians, it looks like you will be starting 2018 off with quite a degree of yeah, broader awareness, broader galactic connection. This might be a month for you where it's not so much about just yourself, it's about who are you, where do you come from, where are you going, what do you want to attune yourself to, what are the vibrations coming into you. And right through your cards there, I see so much of that pinky, purpley hue coming through. This is very much about the psychic realm, the esoteric realm, the spiritual, the activation of the third eye with all these beautiful tones of the amethyst colours coming in. And as well, we see a little bit of the um, blue over here for the communication. This is an um, angelite stone. So let us start with that first week in the very beginning of the year, the seven, the crown chakra. The crown chakra sits at the very top of our head. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, I love synchronicity and it only becomes more aware as you move through the reading. But what do we have here in these cards? Heads. Head, head, head. <laughs> So we can't get away from messages sometimes when they come to us. They're so profound and they so want to make you listen and they want to make themselves be heard. Hello, through the head, through communication. Um, the crown chakra is at the top of the head and it literally this card reminds me of, of the fact that the, cra the energies through the universe come pouring into us and this is how we manifest our ideas, our dreams, our desires. This is how our emotions come through to us through the whole energetic force field of the galaxy that we sit in on our pale blue dot, the planet Earth. So we're all so totally connected. And Piscians, you are the most etheric, dreamy, spiritual of all the twelve. You know, your whole vibrational frequency, if you like, is attuned to somewhere else in the galaxy. It's like way out there when you vibe on out and you can feel the distant hum of connectivity and, and energy. And that's often where you get your creative ideas and resources from. So it feels to me like you are just going to be like hit with it like a bolt of lightning come the beginning of 2018. For some of you, this could mean a dramatic change in your philosophies or where you thought you were going or how you feel about yourself, relationships, how you feel about life on the planet your business, anything. This could be a year of change for you, especially starting out with such a very powerful bunch of cards. The Crown Chakra very much talks to us about receiving messages from the psychic realm, so some of you may get extra psychic intuition, clairvoyance, clairaudience, psychic dreams, connection to synchronicity. You may find that um, the spirit world talking to you so some of you may be connected uh, to your past deceased loved ones things like that as well it is also the very highest point of vibrational frequency that we're aware of as humans in our body or our temple so this is when we get the very raised vibrations 
coming in at this peak at the top of our heads. And this is where we can sometimes feel the joy of ecstasy and bliss. This is sometimes how this is activated through our bodies. So you could be in for a really amazing time in January. I also think that the head is going to be in your in your month in a big way. So some of you will have issues to do with the head, the physical side of the head and the brain. Some of you it could be headaches or eye ache or eye strain or neck aches or neck tension, shoulder relief might be needed to come in, even back pain might need to be fixed. This is on the physical level. Some of you could have blockages that's not allowing the energy to flow, like this energy that's pouring in here through the top of your head. Uh, if you've got blockages through your physical body, you it'll get uh, discombobulated and it becomes blocked and it can become painful. So some of you may need to make sure you open yourself up and allow for the freedom of this creative flow coming into your body. Uh, some of you may even find yourselves going to things like churches and being really caught up in the cathartic energy of, you know, the prayer and connection to God or, or you know, a belief system. That could be part of this as well, like a change for you all or another step growing. Some of you may even have a small operation or need to have something looked into in your head or in that type of area as well. And don't forget what I said about backs and spines. Maybe you need massage or manipulation. Um, yeah, well that's just blown me away. I actually have to catch my breath a minute here because there's, there's a lot going on and there's a lot being told. But it is at a very, very deep level. And I think for um, some of you, you will feel it in the background, it'll come to you like with a sense of oh, what's going on, why do I feel like I'm not grounded or why do I feel like I'm not doing what I'm meant to be doing or with the person I'm meant to be with or the group of people. There's going to be feelings like that I think coming for you guys. Let's clarify it with a card from the Rider Waite and um, so this is for Pisces for the first week to go with the Crown Chakra card. What is coming? Well, he jumped. So, <laughs> yeah, oh yes, another major arcana. Let me just move uh, my camera back a little bit. She's the Empress. She is number three. She's beautiful energy, very fertile, very... Um, spiritual again, very loving, nurturing, maternal, uh, healthy, quite healthy actually, especially uh, in her heart area, I see the heart sitting there, but I was thinking earlier when I said to you, your shoulders, your neck area, something to do with your head, there could be an alignment with the head heart thing, some of you may even have the heart uh, looked at for one reason or another, or you may feel palpitations of the heart, or the heart issues are going to play a month, uh, a role in the month as well. She also is very fertile, there's sexual excitement and tension going on, it's also a period of fertility and conception. As well we definitely have the moon down here, I think the moon, the cycles of the eclipses start in February which is quite early in the year, so I think there's going to be some real power and pack of energy in these for you guys. Yeah, the uh, first eclipse is on the 31st of January 2018 and I feel that this could be an eclipse that does connect with you at a very personal deep level that will awaken a whole lot of things for you guys. So let's move on to the next week, the 4th of um, the major arcana authority which is also the emperor he often refers to the time of year of march which is uh, your birthday time as well and april he is often commonly known as the Aryan energy so this eclipse stuff that could be stirring you up and providing you with great insight and freedom and you know like mind freedom this could be even more illuminated for you in the fourth month of the year and you might find yourself changing direction or firming things up in that time frame. So ideas that could come to you at the beginning of the year might take firm physical manifestation in and around March and April. 
he also represents a possibility of a new person in your life. For some of you, this could be a new love interest because this is quite often the way. He is an authoritarian figure. So he often says to you to do things by the book at this time of the year or when things are happening. So if you have got projects or goals or things on your mind, do them the right way. Make sure your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted to get from A to B and to have your projects or hobbies or career aspirations or legal things in particular go the right way. So he could also come to you in the shape of like a mentor or a bank manager or a mortgage loan person or an, an accountant or a government figure. So some of you may be dealing with government services and you might have to apply for something within the government and this could be a time where documentation is required so you need to make sure you've got all of that ready to get this um, process to be accepted for what you need to have happen at this time. I've been calling this the wrong deck of cards, it doesn't really matter, it's the tarot deck that we're using and it's the Morgan Greer deck not the Rider weight. so apologies guys. The, maybe the Rider weight has some kind of background inference going on. But this is the Morgan Greer. Let's see what they want to extend on this authority card with. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, often it's the end of a cycle or the end of something that you've been either trying to achieve or a process that's been going on and sometimes it can feel as though you've had a lot on your plate or you've been carrying a heavy load and it is like you've had to bundle a whole lot of things up to get it to this point for representation or presentation and again I think a lot of you this could be applying for some sort of government facilitation or um, assistance for something and you have to provide all this bits and pieces and a lot of it feels like information, whether it's your birth date or your marriage certificate or the places you've lived or um, how much money you earned over a period of time. And some of you, this even could be uh, um, like, like a tax thing, like going back through many years of income strands or something like those uh, type of thing as well. Uh, so know that it's coming to the end. So this whole thing that's being bundled up to prepare and present is going to change a cycle and move you into a new phase because that's kind of what the tens represent here. So that's that second week in January. It feels very authoritarian, very legal and quite uh, government oriented or official. Accountants, bank managers, stuff like that. And it could have to do with your careers if you're working or your past career if you're no longer working. We come to number three the third week in January and we see number 20 the truth card which is the judgment card. Now the judgment card again is this whole reparation about thinking what you're weighing up just like he is standing there on the scales you're weighing up things in your life going where am I? What direction am I going in? Why did I end up here? Have I made the right choices? Do I need to try something else? Am I satisfied? Am I meeting all of my dreams and desires? And oftentimes when the judgment card comes into our life, it says to us, no, you're not. You need to wake up. You need to listen up. You need to be opened up which is what often happens. So this can be, again, at many levels, but often it comes through to us through a very strong source galactic energy that almost knocks us over. And we can sometimes hear it, literally, in our inner mind. So we may hear strange things. We may find answers through dreams or messages or synchronicities, or we may even you may have something that's right going on with your ears as well. Some of you might have ringing in your ears that actually activates something or causes something or causes a reaction. But, you know, I talked about your heads before. There's so much going on with your heads in this beginning of the year, Pisces. You're almost saying to yourselves, yeah, I'm definitely ready to up the ante and change direction and see what more is out there on the offer. Um, 
but I think of it as you know predominantly really good energy and also while I'm talking I see a lot of this beautiful pink energy coming in and I'm feeling a lot of gentle um, love involved in this spiritual journey as well <clears throat> so there's some sort of compassion there's some gentleness there's some love involved in this whole truth card and the judgment so it's not so much about um, quick harsh things happening this is about a very etheric journey that's coming in and it's it could be as I said quite subtle for some of you you may not know everything that's going on but it will evolve over time let's see what card comes into um, process with this one for Pisces for the third week to go with the truth card or the judgment card yeah <laughs> well that makes so much sense I said there was this feeling of love involved uh, I had the you know that beautiful pink uh, quality coming in which is often like the rose court energy around the heart and we saw the heart over here so I did feel that the heart and the mind were going to be part of this year uh, opening up for you and of course the page of cups turned up now here's very much about love and I'm um, sometimes new love so this judgment card could be about new love in your life it could be about changing directions of previous relationships or how you view love or where you find love or how you give love out so the page of cups is often known as the instigator of new love coming in and a proposition of love I got that feeling so strongly it was so um, gentle and peaceful coming through and it is surrounded with love for some of you this is love from deceased people in your life a very big connection here with um, you know very close loved ones so parents in particular and also grandparents or, and siblings coming through and I noticed this um, from my spiritual perspective when we celebrate certain things on the planet here like New Year's and um, Easter and things this is a time when the spirit energies who have passed over they often come in to connect with us so they often come in to pass their love back to us or to have you know that they're around some of you have lost someone recently or you know within a shortish time and they just want you to know that they are definitely there and are feeling the love so that's the message I'm getting feeling the love and in fact even number seven now the pink coming through number seven with the heart energy so yeah new love coming for some of you uh, new love propositions and also new for you about how you react to love and how you deal it and how you give it out to people we come to the fourth week and we see the two of swords this is also wondering about going in what direction you're headed and it's a no surprise or no coincidence that it turned up to the judgment card he is also pondering where he is headed in his spiritual and physical life hence he has his back to us and is looking out to the future in this case we've come back closer to the head and we're looking to ourselves sort of going I don't know what to do about a certain thing and I don't know which way to go so the fourth week still has you feeling this um, you know like ideas do I go left or right up or down do I partner up with something and, or do I go on my own a lot of that will be up to you to think about use logic instead of emotion which I know Pisces you sometimes use emotion too when you make your decisions but use um, some uh, logic in there as well now also that fourth week you might find tension in the head your headaches and this could be because you have a decision to make and you are pondering which way to do it so it could be quite a big um, decision for some of you and it might be about communication or dealing with others so let's see what card is coming to clarify that <laughs> yeah another major arcana whoa so we have this time we have the temperance card so just moving that back a little bit so you can clearly see it temperance is again it's all about balance um, I see a lot oh, like down here in particular we've 
re-amplifying the same message in the background we've got mountains and water and grass and flowers so for some of you this might be where you need to be at the beginning of the year or some of you might want to be outdoors grounding yourself is going to be very beneficial spending time beside bodies of water is also going to be helpful for you Clear, uh, balancing your body in particular using water as a clearance to get rid of any negative toxins that might be around water is also very very good for rehydration some of you may be getting these headaches due to uh, lack of hydration you're either overheated or you've had too many toxins in your body and you need more water on board so balance your body um, also balance your emotions which I said you needed to use some intellect here and not let your emotions take away all of your um, decisions there has to be some firm intellectual solid decision making towards the end of the month about these processes as well as all you know as well as the emotion and the heart and the bliss and the euphoria that are coming in so yeah Temperance also talks about um, <laughs> the head again with this glowing sun around it. I think clearly the eclipse on the 31st of January will have an effect on you. you your mind will be activated. Your body is also going to be activated at various levels which you will address over the coming months. It's not just this month. And as you make adjustments... You, every time you have something like a back adjustment or a massage or a Reiki healing or a chiropractic work or new glasses that allow you to see more or something else, every time you do that you are allowing growth at every level and I think that's what this year for you guys is all about, huge personal growth. So there you are Pisces, what a marvellous, marvellous way to start the year, full of very personal, in-depth um, enlightenment is how I would say it so thank you all for tuning in please leave your messages I love to read them all and like and sub don't forget to sub so that you can see all the videos that I upload wishing you a really wonderful January and a great start to 2018 much love everyone namaste